Hello, and welcome to A Dash of Salt with AJ. I'm your host, Ahsoka Jackson. This is the introductory episode for the series, so we'll start with the word on format. The regular length episodes will be 10 minutes or fewer. They could be 3, 5, 7 minutes. 10 is just the outside number. There will be minimal scripting as well. I'll have an outline, notes, but I don't plan on writing word-for-word scripts for what I say. The editing will also be very minimal. Now, there will be music, which for me was an unexpected treat as I had initially planned on working without it, but generally it's going to be a very stripped-down, super casual style. And let me tell you, as a perfectionist, perfectionist who seems to be developing a valley girl accent over time, that definitely takes its own special variety of self-control. Now there will be some special episodes that deviate from the standard format in both length and style. One concept is to have quote collection episodes where I share quotes from various books that I've enjoyed. I think it'll be an excellent way to share the work of really talented authors who are putting out great material, and that's something that I really take joy in. I feel that there are a lot of talented people out there who are unrecognized or underrated, and who deserve to have their work shared with as many people as possible. Now, the goal here for the regular episodes is to deliver bite-sized pieces of content in a very informal manner. And the format I've chosen makes this more practical. It means that I'll have a better time keeping up with a semi-regular schedule. Now this whole concept is not gonna work for everyone, but for the people looking for a really raw experience, one that can be squeezed into their day quickly, welcome aboard. And while it's short, I plan on making up for it in intensity. Now let me be clear here, I'm not here with the idea of being a shock jock of some type who feeds on being outrageous, but I genuinely do have some very strong viewpoints and I intend to take on some rough topics alongside the more fun, lighthearted ones. Ironically, the truth about it is that a lot of the stuff that may be considered controversial absolutely shouldn't be. For example, opposition to sexually injuring and degrading other human beings. There should be nothing controversial about that standpoint or that viewpoint, but apparently we've devolved as a culture to where it actually is considered something to argue over. And on that note, while I plan to avoid cursing, I will deal with some graphic explicit topics Plus, I may quote from material that contains profanity. For episodes that are family friendly, I will make a special note of their being so, but otherwise, parents should probably pre screen most episodes for children who are under the age of 15 or 60. Now, by the time they hit high school, and really even sooner than that, they'll have already been exposed to a lot of deceptive, misleading bull from society, odds are. So I do think that this is a resource that will be of value to them. But again, keep in mind my notes about the content. As a final word for the episode, I'm going to go into the title that I chose for it. Starting with the dash. The dash part of the title signifies several different things. First of all, it relates to the M-dash, which is something that's generally relevant to myself as both an author and a proofreader, and is also something that I make frequent use of in my own writing. I find it to be a really handy and versatile punctuation mark. There's also dash in terms of speed. It represents the speed of the episodes, the way we move through the content, and just the general brevity of the episodes. Dash also refers again to the idea of putting in just a quick dash of content that'll spice up your day. And speaking of spice, there's also the idea of a dash of salt. Now, the salt has a couple meanings as well. 
First of all, the word salty can mean tough or aggressive, and those are definitely things that can describe me pretty accurately. I can be very soft-spoken, but trust me, there's some steel behind there. A whole lot of steel. And then there's a bit more of a aspirational, spiritual meaning, which is, you're probably familiar with the part of scripture that talks about being the salt of the earth. That's definitely not a label I'm applying to myself. It's just an aspiration. It's something that I really hope that I live up to. And it also relates to something that I realized several years ago. As I was considering my career as an author, I realized that my work needed to have a higher purpose beyond solely entertaining. There is value in solely providing entertainment, to be very clear on that. However, I felt that with the amount of time and energy that I would need to invest, especially considering my health issues and other challenges, I really needed to have an additional value in what I was doing for it to truly be worth it to me. So I really hope to be able to spread positive values and positive messages and just in general make a good impact on the world and on the individuals who consume my content, whether it be my writing, uh, my podcasts, or anything else that I put out. And I will say this much, I do think that with my combination of life experiences and background, I do have a pretty unique perspective and take on things, and that this will benefit me in being able to discuss various topics from an angle and a viewpoint that people aren't necessarily used to hearing from. And I also plan on taking on topics themselves that aren't necessarily discussed as much as they need to be or I feel in the way that they need to be. In any case, I hope you all join me for this journey and that we'll both have a heck of a lot of fun along the way. So be blessed and stay salty. For those of you who have stuck around until the end, here's a quick preview of the lineup for the next few episodes. Episode 2 will be dealing with a semicolon, an underappreciated and highly useful piece of punctuation that's been getting a bad rap. Episode 3 will be dealing with the kink-shaming argument, aka how a white supremacist acting individual who gets off on beating, torturing, degrading, humiliating, and injuring women of color can then claim victim status. Episode 4 will continue the previous topic by highlighting the group whose idea of diversity is to glorify and make a fetish out of rape, abuse, degradation, and negative racial stereotyping involving indigenous people, Asian people, black people, other groups, women in general, and people in general. Because that's what a friend, advocate, and ally does. Mercilessly disrespect and betray you, sacrificing you on the altar of their own twisted ideas and deceptive narcissistic behavior. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun. And if you enjoyed the show, don't forget to show some love with a rating, share, or review on Apple Podcasts, social media, or whatever platform you use to listen.